making very big demands of small cars like the Renault Clio these days. More and more buyers are downsizing from bigger cars in an effort to save money, but they're not prepared to sacrifice the equipment, the comfort and the refinement they've become used to. So it is that today's Clio has a decidedly big car feel to it, with luxurious features like climate control and sat-nav on the options list. That's all very well, but as the Clio has grown up, has it lost some of its va va -boom? On any suburban street or driveway, the Clio looks far more distinctive than mainstream rivals like the Ford Fiesta and Volkswagen Polo. And perhaps the most distinctive feature is this nose, with a pronounced Renault badge set on a gloss black background, contrasting perfectly with the chrome details in the headlights and the daytime running lights. What also sets the Clio apart from its rivals is the fact that it's available only as a five-door hatchback. Mind you, Renault's done its best to hide that, giving the car a sporty, almost coupe-like profile and hiding the rear door handles away in the window frame. As if that wasn't enough, buyers can make their car standard even more by personalising it, with a choice of roof decals, as well as different colours of alloy wheel and exterior trim, no two Clios need ever look alike. The interior is best summed up in one word, bold. And you can make it bolder still, thanks to it having even more personalization options than the exterior. Most models come with this seven inch touchscreen, which controls the infotainment system and leaves a relatively uncluttered dashboard. From dynamic trim upwards, you can also choose the R-Link system. This effectively integrates a tablet computer into the car and gives you access to all sorts of functions and apps. Our only reservations are that some of the switch gear is poorly placed and some of the materials could be of a higher quality. In terms of practicality though, the Clio is impressive. There's plenty of adjustment on the steering wheel and the driver's seat, so it's easy to get comfortable. And although rear legroom is only adequate, there's plenty of headroom in here for adults. To cap it all, the boot will take 300 litres. That's more than you'll get in a Fiesta or a Polo. The Clio's lightweight and sharp steering make it very responsive and good fun to drive, but it's composed too. You don't have to make any sacrifice in ride comfort or refinement. More than anything, that breadth of abilities is the Clio's real selling point. You can buy a Super Mini that has sharper handling or a smoother ride, but very few other Super Minis provide such an effective balance between the two. At the top of the range, the Renault Sport version is genuinely quick, although it's more of a Mini GT than an out-and-out -out hot hatch. But even the more mainstream engines give perfectly acceptable performance. The 0.9 litre petrol is smooth for a three-cylinder engine and surprisingly punchy around town, while the extra torque of the 1.5 litre diesel really suits the car's character. Apart from the Renault Sport model, every Clio averages more than 50 miles to the gallon, and the best returns almost 90. On top of its low CO2 emissions and low insurance group ratings, that all adds up to very affordable running costs. Comfortable, cheap to run and good to drive, the Clio is a fine car. Even if you're coming into it from something larger and more expensive, it won't leave you feeling short-changed. It's good enough to give the very best cars in its class a real run for their money. So if you're in the market for a Super Mini, this is well worth considering.